guys, welcome back to Rapture Alerts. My name is Sean. If you're just tuning in, this is just a guy talking about Jesus. That's all I do over here. And I'm watching and waiting for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to take us home in a pre-tribulation rapture. I hope you're happy, healthy, and well, and have what you need. Guys, we're going to come out here and read Psalm 100, a little bit of commentary right now. We are going to open up a prayer and give thanks to the Lord for everything that he's done, everything that he's doing, and everything that he's about to do. I hope you have everything that you need today. Thanks for stopping by. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for dying on the cross for me, your mercy, your grace, all of the provisions, your unfailing love, Father. Thank you for lifting me up. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for this channel, Father. Thank you for everybody that prays for me and prays for my family. I ask that you please give them what they need right now, Jesus. We know you're going to take us home on time, Father. But we are tired of this world. We're tired of the evil that's in it. And we call on you for protection and peace today, Father. Please bless this message and protect us while we're doing it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right, let's take a look at Psalm 100. It says, All men exhorted to praise God. A psalm for thanksgiving. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful singing. Know that the Lord himself is God. It is he who has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His loving kindness is everlasting and his faithfulness to all generations. I love that one. That's why I wanted to bring it out here. Everybody should be praising God. Everybody should be praising Jesus, right? Let's take a look at the commentary and see what it says here. This well-known psalm emphasizing in the universal nature of God's kinship is a benediction to the series of psalms which are occupied with the Lord's kingdom rule. Most of it is a call to praise and thanksgiving while verse 3 and 5 fix the reasons for that worship. A call to praise the Lord, a call to thank the Lord shout joyfully it says see note on psalm 66 1 we're just going to keep going through the commentary no in the sense of experiencing and being completely assured of the truth the lord himself is god a confession that israel's covenant god jehovah is the only true god made us though god's actual creation of every human being is understood here this phrase seems to refer to god's making and blessing israel as a nation look at Deuteronomy 32 6 and 15 there and Psalm 95 6 Isaiah 29 22 23 and 44 2 his people his pasture the shepherd image is often ascribed to the king of Israel as well as to the Lord the figure suggests intimate care according to the New Testament the Lord is also the shepherd of the Saints in the church age how reassuring is it to know that that makes me feel pretty good sitting out here to know that my shepherd is taking care of me i belong to him that's what jesus is he's not going to leave us here guys he is on the way don't listen to anything anybody else is telling you that the rapture isn't real or jesus isn't coming jesus is coming back i want to make that clear today jesus is coming back i'll say it again it is a pre-tribulation rapture you have to hold on to that hope you have to hold on to that faith you have to pray without ceasing you have to look at jesus and you can walk across water. Don't take your eyes off of them right now, guys. You'll sink. The Lord is good. God is the source and perfect example of goodness, his loving kindness. See a note on Psalm 85, 7. His faithfulness, God's faithfulness in the sense of keeping his promises. And we're going to stop right there. That's the end of Psalm 100 commentary. I'm going to go ahead and get inside. It is freezing out here. I love you, I miss you, I'm praying for you. Remember, if the rapture isn't right now, a few moments from now, or even tonight, just do what we always say over here. Keep looking up, and we'll see you up top.